Hello, this is Jason from the Dental Clean Repair Channel. Today I'd like to bring you along for a repair that happened this week. This was on a delivery unit that was malfunctioning in a very inconvenient way. Water was flowing uncontrollably out of handpiece channel number one. Let's take a look. Okay, what you can see is with handpiece channel number one, when the flow control valve on the combo water relay was opened up, water started flowing out of handpiece channel number one. And when we did the same thing on handpiece channel number two, nothing happened. So the symptom is water flowing out of handpiece tubing and no, with no input to the foot pedal. Let's hop in. So this is the delivery unit. As you can see, it is a uh, standard looking delivery unit. This is a Pelton crane. The um, water control is actually here at the bottom of this valve. And if you follow the tubing around, you'll see that this water, little blue valve, water um, tube here is connected through a check valve and that goes to the handpiece tubing that is connected to channel number one. So what we're gonna focus on is really this part right here. This is a combo water relay, and um, we're going to talk a little bit about how that is plumbed in and what you can do to test it, as well as some other variants and other that are in other delivery, delivery units. So this is where I obtained the manual. I Googled the Pelton Crane um, schematics and was able to find my way here to this Pelton Crane Download Center. This is the manual that I was able to use. And this is a schematic. A schematic is a representation in pictorial form of a unit and it doesn't look a whole lot like what the delivery unit looks like. But the area that we're going to be focusing on is right here. This is essentially the handpiece tubing where we saw the water coming out. And this is the valve that we turned in order to uh, make that water flow. So as you can see, it's kind of more linear and line based. But this is the area that we're going to focus on today to see, you know, what the problem was and how we can troubleshoot that. So this is the combo water relay valve, and that is this component right here. So again, it looks like that, and this is a, um, it's a, a style that's very common on Pelton Crane. It actually has a PC on it right there. There are mon many water relay types, and the way you can tell that it's a water relay is that it has typically three inlets. Now you have your water coming in, you have your water going out, and you have the signal. That signal is what actually commands the water to flow. And so when you apply signal to that position of air, uh, that will allow the water that's sitting right there to flow through. Now in our situation, what was happening was basically water was flowing through without any signal coming to the actual signal portion of the valve. Now, our valve looked a little different than these, but these are actually just water relay valves. This one here is basically an air signal would go to this cap, and then water sitting on the end, and the outlet is in the middle. And same here, you have your water coming in here, you have your, uh, your um, air signal coming in here, and then your, basically your water out here. And the same here, you've got your um, water coming in here, your air signal coming in here, and then your outlet of the water coming here. So basically water flows from end to the center. Now this is a unique style. This is a pinch block style. Um, when air signals applied to that, a pinch bar is released and that allows air, water to flow freely through this valve. So this is a pinch block style. Now these are water relay combos and 
what you can see is basically you have a barb on the end, barb in the middle, and one on the other end. So this unit right here is labeled with SIG, which is signal. Now you will notice there's a little bit of a different washer right there. And these washers are intended to seal. Those are a plastic. And this is a metal, um, almost like a locking um, washer. And the reason is, is because on a signal line, you want there to actually be a leak so that the water will turn off when the signal, air signal is removed. So you have your signal on one end, again, water coming in on the other, water flow coming out. And what makes these different is this knob. The knob is a way to control the water flow. So this is um, an all-in-one way where you have your flow adjustment and you have your um, water control all in the same device. Now, the way that this works is when your foot pedal is selected to the water position and you step on the foot pedal, your drive air actually will go also into a tube that will direct airflow to your signal line on your water relay valve. Now, this might go be, you know, quite a few feet of tubing, but just know that your foot pedal is connected to your water relay. And when that applies pressure there, the water that is um, sitting here at the at the end will and I actually have that backwards. That's funny. Um, the water that's sitting here will be allowed to go through the center of the valve and actually go over here. So um, I actually drew that a little bit backwards. So solution number one would be to just go ahead and replace the leaky valve. Um, if water is flowing through the outlet without a signal applied, then that tells you that this valve is indeed bad and it should hold water pressure on the one side. These valves are rebuildable. However, I have found that it's better to just replace them. Also notice this particular valve has an extra port. That's because you might want to daisy chain these together. So you might have your water supply coming here and then basically going out to another channel. And so you can daisy chain through the valve. If you don't want to continue to use that valve, you would use a standard water relay valve and a needle valve, which is a separate part entirely. And here is exactly how you would apply that. You would use your, um, apply your water relay. You would have your inlet of the water coming in here to one side, and then you would have your signal going in the other side. And the outlet, instead of going straight to its destination, you would put a, you would put a needle valve in line with that. So in essence, you basically regulate the on-off here and you regulate the flow here. This is an all-in-one, but this is two pieces. And so this is a way that you can solve the problem if you don't happen to have that um, more uh, complicated valve on the truck. So for a recap, what we're going to do is we will go ahead and follow the flow of what would exactly happen when you step on a foot pedal expecting hand piece number one to turn on with water. So with this foot switch in the water position, that will allow an air signal to go on a green line from the, uh, basically through this uh, line right here, it will follow around here. There is a handpiece flush, which operates similarly using the water relays. We won't get into that right now, but basically it flows through that valve. And then over here through your um, handpiece hand piece block, and this will, this will flow through to this relay combo valve. And when that actually has pressure against it, that will allow water to flow through the combo valve and on over to the handpiece. So what I'm hoping that you get out of this training is that if you do have a combo valve that is, uh, has failed, that you can sol solve that using this, uh, this format here. The other thing that you can do is if you have a low speed handpiece that does not require any water, you can also take that combo valve and switch positions with it. 
I have done that from time to time, and it's a way where you can use an unused portion of your uh, delivery unit to basically get another part of it running. All right, and so we were able to repair this unit. We ended up choosing door number two and replaced the combo water relay with a uh, water relay and a needle valve. This ended up working very well for the customer and it happened to coincide with resources we had on our truck. This was a single visit repair, which is what we always aim for. And this is a very nice way of removing some of the complexity out of a delivery unit. So this is Jason from the Dental Equipment Repair Channel. Thanks for following with me. And if you have any questions or comments about this repair, please leave them below. Thank you very much.